it's, it's Emil. In this video, I want to talk about how to screen an illustrator. I've been asked a lot about how I got my illustrators on the, the Burning Suns project. And while I will not go into details where I found them, because that's somewhat easier and uh, I, I can make another video about that, I want to talk about how I screened my illustrators and figured out whether or not they were fit for the project and so on. And this is the most important part of it because finding people is not that hard because they want to be found, but finding the right people is of course what matters. As you probably know, the Burning Sun uh, project has a lot of great artwork. And the first thing you want to notice is how you uh, initially introduce and pitch the material and how you look for reactions to what they think of what has already been done or what are the uh, inspiration and so on, what they think of um, the genre and so on and so forth. So I made a, a pitch where I talk about it. This is a post Kickstarter pitch. So down here I have a, a, a couple of samples from the game. If I didn't have that, I would of course just uh, take something from the internet and, and make sure to tell people that this is not from the game, but this is the inspiration that I want them to, um, to draw upon. One of the things is that their initial reaction is also important, like do they get excited when you talk about your, your project? And I came across one guy who actually started criticizing right away, like in his uh, first or second email, he, he started saying, okay, this is not good enough and these are very awesome, but these are definitely not up to the standard. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for critique on the already done artwork. And if that's a way to promote yourself, it's definitely not uh, a good idea. So we didn't get uh, very far. But that's something you have to, to read into as soon as you start talking to the person because you're going to communicate with this person for the, the whole of the project. So you want to be sure it's someone who can actually work with you. The second thing is the initial task. What I did to begin with was that I gave them a, a first task that was very free. They just got a, a frame size or size of the, the illustration. And then I say, go nuts. Tell me what's in the game. When you read the pitch, when you see the other's artwork or the inspiration, what's in the game? What do you feel is important in the game? And what would you display if you had to do a wallpaper for, um, for this game? And this uh, task is just paid up front. So there is no uh, hard feelings if things go wrong and you're not committed uh, in any way. So, and uh, as you can see, I, I got some great uh, results from uh, from some of some of the the guys, and I actually got uh, a, a very nice result here also. But here I faced another incident where the person who uploaded this picture said, oh, okay, uh, I've done this uh, first picture. It's a trade base or something like that. And while this is a, a very nicely done illustration, it's, it's alarming to, to see how little the person cares about his creation. So he, he sent me a one sentence email where he can't even describe what's on the picture. Then, then I don't think he's right for at least the project I'm doing where I want people to get involved and actually <clears throat> have an opinion about what they're doing and, and feel invested in the universe. So that's something you, you have to look out for yourself if, if you're that kind of person. Another point I want to make is that from this initial illustration, you can, you can definitely see what people are mostly interested in or what intrigues them from the project. And you can, by that, kind of give them future tasks where you have tailored the tasks to them. Uh, and that turned out very, very well for, for Burning Suns, where I had this guy do a lot of scenery. And I had um, 
uh, this girl do a lot of um, of characters so that that worked out very well okay there are a few other cases I want to show here's one who was very inspired by Starcraft and that that doesn't work out furthermore it, it looks like the the person is used to doing maybe flash games or something like that that's where I would say this graphic comes from and then um, that's all nice but it doesn't work for 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 burning sun so for the board game so and, and i don't want to come too close to another ip because then it, it will really hurt hurt my game at this this leads me on to my my last case here where i had a person sent me this sketch as his first drawing and while i haven't played halo i know <laughs> enough about computer games let's just say I, I know everything that's going on there as well like in board games and i definitely seen this this uh, this guy before this uh, weapon here so I said uh, it looks very much like this one actually both in poses and in, in everything else so that was very alarming to see that <clears throat> and I, I told him up front and said he, he will have to change things in order to to get this to work so this is the illustration he came up with and unfortunately or luckily for me I also know about crisis so i don't know where he wanted to go with this but uh, definitely not something i i liked uh, at all so and and if you take in this <clears throat> i mean come on what's going on here <laughs> Furthermore, I had seen this creature before. I've, I've been studying so much artwork on DeviantArt that I, I think I ran across something that looks, looked like this. I was very, very certain I had seen this before. So I, uh, I started looking up some pictures and for that I used TinEye and, and you can easily use this one if you have a feeling some of your illustrators are drawing too much on others artwork so i looked it up and i found this one yeah so i uh, i asked him what that was all about and he said that was his own illustration this one and well, that's that's all nice. It's all good, but I I don't want him to use his other work. What if he has sold this to another person? Or there can be so many legal problems with this. But also, just in general, I don't want them to use some of their previous work because then suddenly my game is not as original, and there's so many problems with that. So I uh, politely said uh, thank you. Here, here's the money. And uh, we are not going to work uh, anymore on anything here. So I, I probably spend around five, six, seven hundred dollars just, um, yeah, looking at illustrators, do the first task, and then say I'm sorry, we're not going to work together. But I think it's a money well spent. So you know that the illustrators you end up with is uh, someone you can communicate with, work with in a a, a nice flow and who actually has uh, what it takes to to illustrate specifically what's in your game so i i hope you could use this and um, then have a nice day and see you guys next time